this afternoon, 67-61 over the Trojans of Troy. Coach, that's a hard-fought victory. Yeah, I got a lot of respect for Troy's program. You know, watching them the last four days on tape, I was just scared to death getting up this morning. I just, uh, Bernardo, he's one of the best freshmen I've seen. Where in the world he come from? How'd they get him out of Tennessee? I coached, in, <laughs> I coached in the Big 12 for a long time, Tuck, and that's what, uh, I mean, it's kind of eerie to kind of what Kevin Durant looked like as a freshman. So we knew he was good going in. He had our utmost respect. Still puts 18 and 9 on us. But you know what? Give our guys credit. Uh, how about Reese Hill, you know, getting 12 rebounds in the games? An undersized guy at 6'5 or 6'6, but his heart's as big as an Ohio coached. And I got on him a little bit in the first half and, and uh, really challenged him at halftime. That's my kind of guy. You know, I'm, I'm so glad Reese is with us. I'm proud to be his coach, and I'm really excited about the future with him having another year. But that's one of the most gutsiest efforts I've ever seen on the backboards by a 6 5 game. Let me tell you what, he went up He went up so high to get a rebound down here in the stretch run. Yeah, you know, I think we're going to go to uh, Sonic after the game. I told Reese if he had a double double tonight, I was going to go ahead and supersize it. You know, maybe throw a six piece on top of the burger. Even though he didn't quite get the double double, I'm going to go ahead and bend the rules here and, and, and maybe even get a milkshake. Coach, how about this basketball team? Seven and one on the road. That's unheard of. Yeah, you know, it bleeds right into the, the character of our players. You know, you don't win on the road in college basketball unless you got a little toughness, a little grit, a little poise, a little composure. And these are things that we love in our program. These are things we stand for, but give these guys the credit. I mean, it's not us developing those traits in this quick six, seven-month period. These guys have got a lot of toughness, and I give uh, give credit to all the coaches and coaches players before us. I give credit to these kids' families. We've we got, we got tough guys on our team, and I'm loving every minute of it. All right, let's talk a little about Jalen Jackson had a, had a coming out party tonight. Yeah, Jalen can score the ball. I mean, I think per minute played, he's one of the most prolific scorers in college basketball. What I was really proud of him today, he had a composure about him. He had some poise on the bench. Um, Jalen would be the first to tell you he's got a long ways to go in other areas of his game. But in terms of scoring the basketball, he can do it with the best I've ever coached. I thought he'd take good shots tonight, shot an incredible percentage. And we don't win this game tonight without Jalen Jackson. Bill Cunningham, uh, I'm sure in their scouting report, says uh, this guy right here, number one, uh, don't guard him. He won't shoot a three. He hasn't shot a three all season long. He goes two for two. Yeah, you know, it's a great testament to, you know, there's a relationship between work and results. I know that's the way it's been in my life, and that's the way I tell these players it's going to be after basketball. And Jalen's a guy that's been very committed since the first day of practice, shooting open perimeter shots after practice. He's almost always on the floor 15, 20, 25 minutes after practice just shooting catch-and-shoot rhythm threes. We anticipate the day coming where people back off him because he's such a good driver, and tonight was that night. And I'm really proud of Jalen, not for just making the shots, but for being the type of kid that's really bought into work ethic and putting in the time. This Sochi played 28 minutes tonight. Uh, seven rebounds, three points, altered a whole lot of shots, Coach. He's becoming a, a factor on the inside. Yeah, three block games, really important. You play a good team like Troy, they're just driving us. It seemed like every time I look up, we were getting driven. We rely a lot on our help defense, taking charges, fake trapping, but certainly a real luxury to have is shot block. And, um, you know, this was the defensive player of the year at Howard Junior College where he played for Coach Reigns. And, and you know, that's something that we really rely on. It's like a special talent. You know, I tell these guys, we're going to coach you the best we can. The X's and O's will take you so far. But at the end of the day, a player's got to make a play. And certainly Jalen made some offensively. Reese made some on the backboards. Marcus Johnson got hot again. Um, we'll give all our guys in the list made a lot of plays in the shot. Play. I do want to say that. I want to say this about Josh Hagan. Josh didn't score a lot tonight. Uh, Josh let the game come to him, didn't try to force things and, and set things up pretty well. Tonight. I thought so too. I thought he had a couple of uh, key steals. You know, he had four steal game tuck. That's, that's good. You know, those are possessions. That's, that's seven or eight points that Troy might have had. Um, he did a good job late rotating on that baseline and getting steals. And, um, you know, scary thing about Josh is he's a good player now, but he's got so much room to get better, and that's what we intend to do here over the next 10 weeks. Chris Beard, you head home, back home to Little Rock. We've got a long bus ride, uh, much shorter with a victory tonight. You head home, 12-1 and one on the season. Uh, we need a packed place. No question, man. Why not us, Tuck? You know, we, we uh, got a conference homestand here, two really good teams in Lafayette and Monroe, I think. we got the best building in college basketball. We, we just need people to come out. All the people that have seen us play to this point, please come back. Anybody that might be listening that hasn't seen us play, you know, I, I'm, I'm begging you. I'm not asking you. I'm begging you. Please come support our team. I think our players have proven themselves worthy of a, of a little support in the Little Rock. 
All right, Coach, I know you're going to get out of that tie here in a minute, so I'm going to let you get out of here. I patted you on the back you a little bit. Right there. Yeah, it tends to happen a little bit. Though. You bet. Happy New Year to you. Congratulations. Right, thank you.